his kids too much. He won't kill me. Well, we see how much you love them. You love them so much, you murdered their mother and grandfather. Why? You could have just taken your own life and saved these poor kids, their grandmother, friends, and community horrific pain. Instead, I see them cry and miss their mommy so much. Do you have any idea of the emotional pain your kids have suffered and will continue to suffer their entire lives? I hope that it stays with you every day in prison and that you feel fear that Tiff felt every day. I know we are supposed to forgive, but right now all I feel for you is hatred. You took my best friend and I cry every day when I wake up and realize it really happened. I can't imagine how Emma Madeline, Nolan, and little Caroline must feel. They have no parents. What a cruel thing you have done to them. Your Honor, on behalf of the kids, myself, and all of Tiff's friends and family, please send Keith to prison for life without any chance for parole. Thank you. <laughs> On November 18, 2014, Shirley Weber lost her daughter and her husband at um, the hands of this murder. Unfortunately, she could not come here today and speak and tell you about these victims and what great people they were. But this is a very close-knit community, and I personally knew both of the victims. Jim was the head of maintenance here at the county building, and even after his retirement, he would often come in and visit with the crew. He was a welcome guest and seemed to get along with everyone. Tiffany. I first met her through the Kalkaska Hockey Association. While coaching her son, Nolan Ferguson, one of the children taken out on this murder spree, Tiffany was on the hockey board. <clears throat> the hockey board is not a paid position. Uh, Tiffany did it to give back to the community. This is not unlike Tiffany. Her desire to help it was also evident in her chosen position at the Kalkaska Memorial uh, Health Center. Uh, the community acknowledged her commitment as she was also uh, the recipient of the Motor Year Award a few years ago. These two lives were abruptly ended when Keith Ferguson pulled a gun and shot the Mother of the Year in the head again and again, not just once, not twice, but three times. Keith then strapped on body armor and assault rifle before driving over to Jim's house. In the car was Tiffany's children, along with explosives, ammunition, and other military items such as night vision. Keith made entry into Jim's house, and before Jim could react, Keith shot him five to eight times. These shots were fatal. During the ambush, two of the children managed to escape and run to a police officer's house down the road. The two other children were left at the neighbor's house. In his confession, Keith explains uh, his intent to go to another home to, to continue his murder spree, but he had taken a wrong turn. With time running out, running out he assumed a barricaded position in a home taking a hostage. He had with him night vision, explosives, and uh, during that lengthy police standoff. In reviewing the witness accounts and forensic data, three things are clear to me. Keith Ferguson is a coward, a murderer, and whatever sentence he gets is too good for me. This is just a tragedy. Um, you know, uh, uh, just sent to me, kill me, whatever. And, you know, and about the children, they, you know, they've been 